That intense Trump rally where one man has already been charged for violence, the Cumberland County Sheriff's Office in North Carolina now says they are investigating if Donald Trump incited a riot. The statement from the Sheriff's Department reads in full, our investigation is not complete as to the incidents of Wednesday, March 9th, 2016. We are continuing to look at the totality of these circumstances, including any additional charges against Mr. McGraw, including the potential of whether there was conduct on the part of Mr. Trump or the Trump campaign, which rose to the level of inciting a riot and including the actions or inactions of our deputies, close quote. One day before what's likely to be the biggest Super Tuesday yet, Donald Trump insists his rallies are misunderstood. He's a love fest. As more protesters were removed from another Trump rally, this time in North Carolina, the GOP frontrunner blamed Democrats for the chaos at his events. The Democrats are seeing what's happening and they try and disrupt what's happening, but it's not a big deal. They stand up, they shout for a couple of seconds and they get whizzed out. And Trump told Wolf Blitzer the media is also at fault for hyping the protests. There's not much violence. Let's not even use the word violence. There's very little disruption, generally speaking. Sarah Palin had some choice words for the demonstrators, labeling them thugs at a Trump rally in Tampa. What we don't have time for is all that petty, punk-ass little thuggery stuff. But after a near riot when Trump canceled his rally in Chicago, that protester who tried to confront Trump in Ohio and the police pepper spraying demonstrators in Kansas City, the other Republican candidates are warning their party could face a grim future. If Donald Trump is our nominee, we're going to lose. A lot of Republicans won't support him. And every day that he behaves the way he's behaving now, inciting anger and frustration, he's making it harder and harder. But Republicans may not have much of a choice if Trump sweeps the five big states up for grabs Tuesday. Slowing Trump's momentum in Florida won't be easy for Marco Rubio, who's predicting an upset win. Tomorrow's the day. Tomorrow's the day where we're going to shock the country. Looking much better in his home state is Ohio Governor John Kasich, who's also railing against Trump with the help of former GOP nominee Mitt Romney. Leadership is not encouraging a toxic environment where we blame one group because of the failure of another. This country is not about us tearing one another down for having fistfights at campaign rally. Bimbo, dog, fat pig. Real quotes from Donald Trump about women. An anti-Trump super PAC is piling on with this new ad, portraying the real estate tycoon as offensive to women voters. If Donald Trump is the nominee, he is a disaster. Ted Cruz is in agreement on the Trump effect on the GOP. He just differs on how to stop him, arguing Kasich and Rubio just don't have a shot at the nomination. With John Kasich, it's real simple. It's mathematically impossible for him to become the nominee. He cannot beat Donald Trump. So a vote for John Kasich or a vote for Marco Rubio is a vote that's thrown away.